I think it was defense for us. We, you know, too many second chance shots um, throughout the game. Those just added up. We never locked in or nipping that in the bud. And then I think that's what beat us down the stretch. I definitely think we're close. I think we're right there. I think we're right on the – until we buy into doing those little things, we won't find a way to win the game. We'll beat ourselves at the end of the game because of those little things, and that's that's what it's coming down to. If it's that one rebound, that one – not foul, that one 50-50, you know, that one turnover. That's what it comes down to, you know, a lot of the times in the NBA. So whenever we could just not be the guy that gives that play up, we'll get it done. You said New Orleans. What do we have to do to be better in transition? Run. Uh, <laughs> I mean, as simple as that. Ain't hard transition defense. Let's get back, get back, run. Just get back in front of people, match up. Sometimes it's shot selection, but I don't think that's what it was. I think today we just – Yeah, right back. yeah we just – that was a, a key to the win for us. And we just, like I said, buy into what that means for us. So. It's compared it to the usual. Start – That's because of you, you got it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a – I mean, it just puts it in perspective for people that do play golf. Um, but it's the same as doing the little things. It's as simple as that, you know. Uh, you could be a great team and win games you're supposed to win <clears throat> by doing the little things. And exactly what Coach said when it comes to golf, if you want to be a – want to get better numbers on your handicap you just play better and play more you want to take that extra step you got to go to the range you got to go hours before your, your tea time like things like that it's just the little things that's going to get you over the hump and we're a young team and I think that's what keeps coming down to the to the wire for us we, we find a way to lose because we're not we're not um consistent with doing those little things including myself I'm not just speaking out outside of the box myself as well Carl, is that where you know, frustration with this week, the lack of consistency, what happened Yeah, I think that, you know, when, when we're not playing tournaments basketball, you know, we get beat. Um, you know, second half, you know, the numbers speak for themselves. I mean, we gave up 37 coming out of halftime, put us, in a, put us in a spot. They had the momentum at home and. It's not an easy place to play at. And, you know, come back in the fourth and you still lose by two. You know, it, it has to be a, more of a will, a defensive will. We just didn't um, make those plays we needed to do to win. Um, the consistency in Timberwolves basketball has to be there every night. Uh, tonight wasn't a night that we played that. Um, but, you know, we got to go back to the drum board and <laughs> get back to where we were in, in that four-game winning streak and, um, you know, these opponents are not going to get any easier, and the game doesn't get any easier. So we got to come back and figure it out quick. Yeah, so I think you're uh, 19 of 35 three from the last four games. Curious if you care about this. You have that, like, is that something that you feel like before the game? Is that like a young thing, or is it just kind of attack? I don't know what you asked me, honestly. It just like, can you can you feel it? I guess before he, like, he was old. He was old. He was old. old. He was old. Oh, old. He was old. The right. game owed him. Right, you know, he right. was missing some shots for a while, and and he was old. So this is just the game. You know, basketball right. gods paying back the debt that they they owed to D'Lo. Right. I mean, he's shooting the ball well because he puts the work in every single day. He comes in every single day ready to work. I see with my own eyes. 
our team sees it. He's, he's working tremendously hard. Even when he's struggling, he's working even harder. So he was owed this. He's owed these kind of, this kind of stretch of shooting the ball like this. So I still don't know what you asked. He was saying this is – I answered it. You get it. No, that's love. It, it, was, it was a compliment. Yeah. Shooting wasn't in the same. Yeah. I, 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 think, I, I was just asking if, if there's anything – uh, I mean, just to piggyback on him, I put the work in, so I trust it. But I think what was killing me is overdoing. If that makes sense, I was over working, I was overthinking, I was over trying to be over prepared, over proactive with how can I approach the game. So my mind was just fried, you know, by trying to overdo things. And I heard one of our vets say, just simplify it and do less, you know, thinking so much. yeah, it allows you to not think as much. And I spent so much time pregame trying to see the ball go in and remember this and that. And when the game was started, we kind of become uh, me thinking the whole game instead of simplifying my pregame. Now going into the game, it's just a perfect amount of time, you know, focused on basketball versus my whole day training, you know, with basketball. So, yeah. All right, we're going to the Zoom part. Go ahead. Hey guys, we'll start with questions from John. John, go ahead. Hey Carl, there are nights when you know in the NBA long season when a team just doesn't have it and and loses. Um, but tonight, you know, you guys did a really good job on Jaw. Um, you're in it right down to the end. Does it feel like you know maybe even New Orleans and tonight were like opportunities missed a little bit more rather than just the natural games that come in a season when 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 you're going to drop one? Um. I don't know. I, I just think that tonight was a night where we didn't play Timberwolves basketball to the fullest of extent. We didn't play it to our image but and our identity. But at the same time, too, uh, <clears throat> I think you could say it does kind of resemble a little bit of the New Orleans game where um, we play well. I think that we play uh, – we did, you know, offensively we were getting to spots, but it's not even about that. We just shot ourselves in the foot with certain, certain mistakes that didn't need to happen. And uh, those mistakes are the offensive rebounding, the – you know, just miscommunication or something that we can control. It's nothing that, you know, we can't control some of the things on this stat sheet, but the things we can control um, was things that, you know, that happened tonight. And, you know, a team like Memphis, a team like the Pelicans the other night, they, 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 they're, they're going to take those opportunities and run with it. And uh, unfortunately, I think for us, um, we've had some games where, you know, we made those mistakes. We did it full of energy playing the Timberwolves basketball. We did it with a lot of energy, a lot of, movement a lot of purpose so we got bailed out sometimes or the team you know because of us playing Timberwolves basketball we missed the shots because of the pressure that had been put on them the whole entire game I think that these last two games you know when you don't have that kind of purpose that kind of energy that kind of um, intensity that we usually in tenacity that we're usually useful we're, we're used to having um, you know you give them a chance to make these shots when they make it it's kind of you know it's backbreakers it's shooting yourself in the foot is making things happen that didn't need to happen so I think that's what these two games have shown. We're not playing Timberwolves basketball, and they do ca capitalize on the, on the mistakes we make and opportunities we give the other team. It's going to be a tough night, and we're going to be having to fight a, a, a tough battle when we don't have to. You've gotten called for the kickouts on threes a few times this year. Does it – is there something – do you see something that you're doing? Do you think it's a misinterpretation of the rule? Is it – like in, in terms of the way they're calling you and your shot with that, um, it, what do you see going on with those plays? Um, I've seen some of them, you know, could be drawing a foul, you know, kicking a little too much. I didn't, I didn't think tonight was anything like that. I thought it was just a good shot, usual shot I take. Um, you know, have an athletic man, you know, jumping extremely high to try to contest a shot. I mean, I thought it was pretty simple, but... That's my opinion. We have time for two more quick ones. We'll go Christos and then Jim. Christos, go ahead. Hey, hey guys. Hope you're doing well. Cut for you that game. You're in a cl that close game. The the weather to close the game out. What type of lesson for you is for you to be a playoff caliber team? I get those offensive rebounds. We can't allow those. So, I mean, that's pretty much the lesson I think we learned tonight. Um, <clears throat> we got to close out. We got to close the game out. Um, don't give people a chance to to win the game, you know. Like you, like D'Lo said, you know, when you when young teams find ways to lose, you know. So we can't give ourselves, you know, 
we can't give ourselves a chance to lose. We got to give ourselves every single chance to win. And uh, if we don't come out with a W, at least we could feel much better about it at the end. Um, but when you, in essence, make yourself lose, it, it's tough. You know, it's, it's tough to swallow. It's going to be a tough flight home, but um, we got to keep our head up. We got to get ready for the next one. It's not, like I said, the opponents are not going to get any easier and the schedule is not going to be any more rewarding. And, and uh, people are, are, are learning more and more about us every single game, regardless of their record. So we got to come in even better. We got to come in sharper and we got to come in um, well, with, more, with more desperation. Jim, go ahead. Hi, Dilo. Hi, Kat. Uh, obviously, yourselves and Anthony had big games in terms of scoring there tonight, but the rest of the team combined for 24 points. In terms of the Memphis Grizzlies, aside from the starting five, the rest of their team combined for 48 points. So what does that say in terms of spreading the scoring uh, that you need to do in terms of the impact of your second starting five? Just be sharper. And all of us got to be sharper. Uh, just, just because me, D'Lo, and Ant had some numbers don't mean anything. We all could have been better. We all could have been sharper. We all could have shot better. Um, this is it's a team game. This is not about <laughs> three people and, and another 12 or or people we everyone wants to talk about. No, we're all 15. We're a family. We say we're a family. We're coming to huddle. We're going to talk like we're a family. So uh, all 15 of us could have been better. We all could have been much better tonight. 13, excuse me, but we all could have been better and uh, could have made more shots, could have made better plays. And um, it's something that, you know, like I said, we're going to just have to be sharper, um, all of us, and give ourselves better chances to win than what we gave tonight. <clears throat> Thank you both for your time. We'll see you guys back in Minnesota. <laughs>